What's up guys, this is Sean from Sean Boxing. Welcome back to another episode of Hype Sneakers Review. For those of you who are new to the channel, I do a lot of sneaker reviews, on feed shots, resale predictions, and giveaway events. So if you guys like cool sneakers, make sure to like this video and hit that subscribe button. All right, for today, I'm going to review Nike Dunk Low, no, Ni Nike SB Dunk Low Pro. Nike SB Dunk Low Pro Premium Barcelona. Honestly guys, I don't even know when the global release date is going to be, but here in South Korea, they released it on July 17th. I have no idea why they are, you know, keep just releasing early in South Korea. If you're a big FC Barcelona fan, you're probably very excited to see your, uh, you know, your team's iconic colors on these shoes, maroon, navy, and gold. Nike is one of FC Barcelona's main sponsors, so you can see where the connection is coming from. But it's not common for Nike to represent a football team. You know, I can only remember the Boca Junior Dunks back in 2017 when it was released. But if you guys know any other football team that was represented by a Nike Dunk shoe, please let us know in the comment section below. All right, let's go have a look at the box. It's in a glossy purple Nike SB box. And on the box, it says, Nike SB Dunk Low Pro P PRM, which probably stands for premium. Navy slash University Gold dash Gym Red. For your info, there's no reference to Barcelona on the box so far. I put this style code in the description so you guys can check that out. And I got these on July 23rd, 2021 with resale price of 232,000 Korean won which is around 200 US dollars. Retail price in Korea is 129,000 Korean won, and in the US or anywhere else, it's not confirmed yet, I don't think. And here are the shoes. First of all, I noticed some extra shoelaces in yellow and maroon colors on top of the default navy shoelaces. This one kind of fell off, so I had to you can see how rubbish my handwork is. Left and right shoes have contrasting color bases, but you can see that they're all in suede. Left side starts with maroon toe, continues on with maroon tongue and ends with maroon heel panel. The other side is pretty much just the opposite in color uses, but we have the same university gold swooshes, white midsole, and last but not least, gum outsole. I also want to highlight that Zoom Air insoles are opposite in colors for both sides. So on the right, we got the blue or navy. And on the left, we got the maroon. I don't know if you guys can see that well. But on the bottom, where you can see Nike Air logo, I'm sorry, Nike SB logos engraved, they use the same color, navy. Just on the flip side of the heel, you can see this cushion, which is probably designed to support your ankle for uh, SB Dunks if you're skateboarding. So I tried these on and matched with my wide cream pants from Vans. In terms of sizing, I believe it is true to size. Some Dunks can feel a little spacious, but SB Dunks usually have that thick cushioning inside, so I like to grab my true size. In terms of resale prices, it's currently about $200, but with, um, you know, with La Liga starting in August, it can go up. So I'm looking at around 220 or 230 ish, but I guess it can, it kind of depends on how FC Barcelona performs in the league. Now let's check out the added height on these shoes. 
I got just about 1.66 centimeters. And the weight is about 390 grams, pretty heavy. For your reference, just to compare, a regular Nike Dunk is about 340 grams, and Air Jordan 1 Mid is about 415 grams, so it's just about in between. That's it for today's review. What do you guys think about this shoe? Please let me know in the comment section below. If you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button. It really means a lot to me. Thanks for watching and see you guys in my next video.